Howdy! Welcome to the Fantasy Back Porch Hour. We are Little D. Howdy, howdy. Hakuna with Tyler Brother. Means no worries. Damn straight. Yeehaw. He is Sleeves the Fantasy Alchemist. I am Bear. This is Outlaw. Let's do it. Now, coming on a week two, I've got one word to throw out there. Momentum. Yeah. Okay. Let me think about that one. I think I like it means it. forward movement. It does. Well... There, there's a little more physics than that, oh, but they got momentum. Exactly, yeah, right. exactly. Yeehaw. Great oh, example. Fans. Great example. And as of right now, the spread on that game on the week three game against the Falcons is Miami winning by one. Wow. It's only because Stephen Jackson's hurt, but still, it doesn't matter. Go Fins. Go Fins. Still fire Jeff Ireland. Oh Go hell Fins. yes! Miami is projected to win that game. This According to the sports right books. To the shitter, but we're still going to I like it. I do too. It's all about Dolphins. But from a fantasy perspective, when we're talking about momentum, let's talk about some. Charles Clay? Charles Clay. Keep in mind one thing, though. Charles Clay, until uh, a couple days ago, was listed as a running back. No, he is he now listed as a tight end. Is he? Because yes. he has now moved into the tight end position, and he has pretty well secured that position. But you know, still what? Play. But you know what? He's still catching passes. He's still running his ass That's off true. when he catches passes. But and he's still. In some fantasy leagues, you can put him in both positions. Well, right. And, and he's got Ryan yeah. Tannehill throwing yeah. him to him, who, who has been a very no pleasant surprise this year. One thing is that 317, Tannehill, one touchdown, no interceptions right. last week. Where'd he go, brother? Hey, Tannehill hasn't, hasn't has found the end zone twice, but he's yeah. put up big yardage. Mm-hmm. I know. He's put up big yardage and so no far. no interceptions? Small. Well, on one interception in well, a few weeks. But still. Saying, still doing all on turnovers. Hey, you know what? That's two less than Drew Brees. Exactly. Yes. Which He's when smart. we're talking about when we're talking about momentum, Drew Brees doesn't really have much going right now. No. Not a whole lot. And He's got nothing going no, on right now. No, not. Tannehill He's, also has less turnovers. Drew Brees is outside of the top fifteen. Yeah, and that's shocking. You'd never expect that. No. Outside of the top fifteen of fantasy yeah. quarterbacks. And he should another one that's wrong. who has more turnovers than Ryan Tannehill. Tom Brady, yes, right? He does. Wow, that's yeah. a Tom Brady. Tom Brady is on such a slow start that yeah. Terrell Pryor, EJ Manuel, and Jay Cutler all have more fantasy points than Tom Brady does. It, Tom you, Brady hasn't hit twenty points. No, he hasn't. Yeah. And you would have never seen that coming. No, you, you know why that's that. happened? You know why that has happened? Why does that happen? Because there is a God. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You Amen. should. You should be able to add those that's three quarterbacks. Yeah. Those three quarterbacks, the outlaw name, you should be able to add those guys' points up for the two weeks combined, and that should still not equal what Brady has in one week. Usually. Exactly. Exactly. Usually. Would be. No. Yes. But I don't think anyone here is sad about that. Right. Oh, hell no. And then yeah. on the on a plus side, look at Sam Bradford, who yeah. as wow. of right now, yeah. NFL.com and ESPN.com, in both of those, he's right now sitting as the number five fantasy quarterback. Yeah, I can see it. He is on a roll with the, you know, with an improved offensive line. Yeah. And, and the, with an improved receiving core. And mm-hmm. with and better weapons. Field. And yeah. with Daryl Richardson at running back. Yeah. Yeah, they're playing he's really having well. a He's having a oh, great well, year. On top of that, their defense is pretty solid as well. Right. You know, uh, you know Bradford may their finally. Their defense is really good. Yeah. And it always has been, sadly. Their you know, Bradford locked. may finally be playing to the to the, you know the standards that they wanted to see yeah. out of him. Yeah. Well, and maybe it took Jeff Fisher getting there and, and having the time to implement right. his system. Absolutely, he's a good, that's completely real good true. Coach. And speaking of implementing a system, I and not that the coach has been there long enough to actually implement a system, but Philip Rivers is having a resurgence. He has for two weeks, but I still don't see that lasting all year long. But you know, while he's got the momentum going, Go if you're it. if you're really hurting on quarterback. Like yeah, I am, Pico. you could do worse. You know, go ahead and ride that momentum until he fails. Yes, especially facing the Titans in Week Three, the Titans who got essentially torched by Matt Schaub. Yeah, yeah. Rivers had seven touchdowns and one interception in two weeks. Yeah, but that's going to change. And Rivers is a better quarterback than Matt Schaub. I don't know. I think they're pretty much equal. He's got a know. much bigger cannon. No. Yeah, but his passes are like loops. Not when they're going to Eddie Royal, they're not. He short arms the ball. Yeah, right to, like Ro- right, to, right to Eddie Royal in the end zone. I'm not a big Philip Rivers fan. Okay, well, yeah, but, he, but one of those was a screen pass that Royal did all the work on. He still gets the points. He still gets the points. But while I brought Matt Schaub, who could have seen Matt Schaub being in the top ten after week two? Yeah, well, there's a reason for that. 
He's got Andre Johnson. DeAndre Hopkins. And And Andre Johnson. And Andre Johnson. And Arian Foster. He doesn't really have... Andre. Well, Andre Johnson's getting really shaky right now, but yeah. if De- as long as DeAndre Hopkins steps up, but how is that different from every other year? And Shaw is always you exactly know, pretty high there until the end of the year. Every other year, he doesn't have DeAndre Hopkins. But Rivers did have, you know, he has had two good games, and that's going to continue for a little bit. But I don't see it lasting all year long. Yeah, I think it's one of those guys that see, you know, know. starts off think, strong, but it's going to fade. No, I think it's still a good pickup if you have Andy Dalton as your starter. He is. Especially if you have... Do you just want to start making out with him over there? Where's the thing? You know... (laughs) No, I'm saying It's it's good. I mean, Rivers... At that point, you're playing matchup on quarterback, just like you're playing matchup with defense. But Dalton's kind of starting to convince me. (laughs) Dalton started to convince me that that he could be a viable top 12. I know I was down on him before the season, but with A.J. Green... He's been top 12 for two years in a row. and, And soon getting his number two wide receiver back... But and with Gio Bernard finally showing up, I mean, it only took two weeks, which is awesome. Gio? He's Gio now. He's on my team. Okay. So we've already talked about three that we're not expected to do a whole lot. Let's talk about another one who was expected a whole lot out of and was absolutely shut down and was on a huge downfall coming into week three, and Colin Kaepernick. Yeah. But then again, in his defense, of course, it sucks defending a 49er. He did play Seattle. In Seattle. Right, but Seattle has shown that he can be shut down. Yep, and they showed how yeah. to do it. Right, exactly. which, you Just know, if other teams follow suit and do what Seattle did, they can keep Kaepernick quiet. Yeah. Now, of course, just like any, any other player, he will have breakout weeks. Mm-hmm. But for the most part, I think they may know how to shut him down. See, now, this, I could be wrong. This week, I say you start him. Because Indianapolis pass defense is right. not Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's going to be playing for blood. He's going to be out to avenge the loss. Yeah. Yeah. But when Kaepernick plays the rest of the NFC West, you know, that's when you have to worry about, do I start him or sit him? Right. Except when they play Seattle. Well, no, that's a guaranteed sit. Yeah. But, you know, when they play St. Louis, you, you play Bradford. You know, San Francisco still might win the game, but I think Bradford might end up having more points. Oh, oh, last year they took him to overtime once. And they beat and him they the beat other once. Right. Yeah, the, and, and even when they play Arizona, you know, they might dominate the game, the 49ers, mm-hmm. but I oh. think Palmer's going to get more points. I don't think they're going to dominate the game. They might, I'm saying. They might, but... Yeah, yeah, they they'll, do, they'll, they'll, they'll do it in other ways, though. Yeah, they do they it in really other ways. They yeah. do. They have a good defense. Yeah. Well, and so does Arizona, but San Francisco also has a really good offense. I mean, Arizona has a good defense. Oh, yeah, they do. So... Does anyone have another quarterback while we're on the topic that they would like to throw into the mix here? Yes, Tony Romo. Yeah, everybody was so big on Tony Romo all year long. You know, preseason. Yeah, you know, oh, start Tony Romo, start Tony Romo. Yeah, how's he doing now? I, I, you know what? I was one of them. I, yeah. I was See, right there. I still like Tony Romo, but he's got a very tough matchup this week. Yeah, he's Tony. got a long way to go. Two people did not want to start him. He's riding my bench right now. Well, I'm he was been riding my bench. I was just going to throw Jessica Simpson and Kerry Underwood. Wow. So, Tony Romo, first game was great, but again, he was playing the Giants, who have been a real disappointment right? this year. But then last week, he plays the Chiefs. You know, And again, Chiefs have a good defense, and we saw the real Tony Romo. This right. week, he plays the Rams. We're going to see that same Tony Romo we saw last week. Yep. You know, Des Bryant might have a good game. But that's right, about because it. we saw the real Des Bryant, too. Yeah, and, and even if Des Bryant has a good game, that doesn't mean Romo's going to have like a good game. It's like the real Slim Shady. No, he's not. Please no. stand up. No, he's not. Please stand up. So those are some quarterbacks that have either underperformed or overperformed this year, and yeah. uh, been pretty surprising, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, most of them. It's Dave Frosty, my friends. 